Today, I'm gonna to use ChatGPT to help me find my niche or niche for my YouTube channel. If you watched my video last week, you will have seen how I used ChatGPT to help me figure out the overall strategy for helping take my YouTube channel from around 40,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So it's just at the end of 2022 right now, so we've got about a year to make that happen. So last week I showed you the tools that I used. I used ChatGPT and I also used Todoist to help me make sense of all the tasks and the different categories that ChatGTP uh, gave me and to make it all nice and organized. So today I'm gonna go and jump into the first task. I might show you some of the optimizations I've made to Todoist to help me make this happen. And hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have a pretty well-defined niche for my YouTube channel. Now, keep in mind that I've had this YouTube channel for a long time now, and I've built it up to 40,000 subscribers, but I've really been neglecting it for about 10 years. So this is a revision of where I'm at, but also re-looking at my channel and asking the question, what is the best niche for me to focus on to take it from 40,000 subscribers to 100,000? Is it something that I did back in the past? Should I focus on a niche that I had in the past or should I have something totally new going into the future? That's what we're going to find out today in today's video and hopefully ChatGTP will help me achieve that. So let's dig into this. So let me take you through some of the some optimizations I've made here in uh, Todoist to help me make sense of this. So you might remember last time I had the goals list here, so I'm keeping that. Uh, what I'm doing here is, uh, this is the goal, I'm gonna get to, a, well, the goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers here. And of course, this is what's happening right now. So I just went to my YouTube channel a few seconds ago and looked at the stats there. At the moment, it's sitting at 38,081 uh, subscribers. So I've just gone and implemented that, uh, added that straight to, uh, where is it, to, to Doist, and there it is. So, and what I'm doing here, Every week that I'm gonna be doing these videos, I'll be adding that new number in there for each week. So that's the first one that I'm recording. Uh, as of this recording right now, it's sitting at 38,081 subscribers. How cool is that? So every week as I do this, or even every day, I'll be able to look at this to do as task list and be reminded of what the goal is and where I'm at. And that creates the feedback loop for me to help improve the channel as I go. And each of these tasks that I have here, if you remember from my video last time, is designed to improve that particular number, to go from 38,000 subscribers at the moment to 100,000 subscribers. And if you remember what I did last time, I these categories were given to me by ChatGTP. And I did apply some sort of you know, logic uh, of my own, in my own brain and experience to make sure that those were the right categories and then also to come up with the actual tasks. So this is a combination between what ChatGTP gave me and also my own experience for what should be good tasks to put into these different categories. Now, this still needs to be fleshed out a little bit more, but I figured, hey, it's no point fleshing them out yet if I already know what the first best task is for me to work on, and that is finding the niche. I think that is the most important thing for you to do with the YouTube channel from my experience is to make sure you focus on the right niche, first of all, before everything else. So make sure you've got the right target audience. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. And as you'll see there, I've moved this straight into the now column, choose a niche. So that's what I'll be working on today. The next tasks lists are, the, the next tasks on here, but that's already in the ready column is a list of content ideas. So basically once I've found the niche, I'll start making a list of content ideas and then I'll start figuring out the priority of the other tasks. And that should set me up for creating the content as I go along with this um, and within that right niche as well. So I already have some sort of an idea of what I wanna do, but it's not particularly clear and particularly fleshed out. So hopefully with ChatGPT, that's gonna help me figure that out. So let's jump into it. So choose a niche. So let's go on over to ChatGPT over here. I'm just gonna hit refresh here to make sure we've got a fresh start. There we go. All right, so this is, this is brand new. And just full disclaimer here, I have not gone into ChatGPT beforehand to sort of see if this is going to work. So this could be a total fail. 
uh, or it might not be, or it might take me a couple of goes to get there. But the point of this is that I want to show you behind the scenes how I'm doing it. And perhaps you could learn something from it and do something similar for your channel. So let's take a look. All right, so ChatGPT. So let's let's give it a bit of information here. So let's go into it. So let's say something like, uh, I would like to revive my YouTube channel. Okay, so give it some information. Remember what I said last time, Gigo or Gigo. Garbage in, garbage out. So the better information that you can give a software like this or AI like this, the better the information will be that you get out. So that's why I was saying, like, I don't think it's going to take over your job. All it's going to mean is that you're going to have to get better at asking the right questions. That's that's really what where the game is going to be played with this. So you've got to get good at asking questions. So the more experience you have in an industry, easier it's going to be for you to use these kind of tools. All right, so let's give it a bit of background here. I would like to revive my channel. Um, and take it from, let's say, 40,000 subscribers to 100, um, let's just double check that, yeah, 100, 100,000 subscribers. Okay, so that's just sort of setting the scene uh, for it, so it has a bit of context what, of what I'm trying to do. Now, the next thing I want to say is, um, so, <clears throat> let's see, why is this slowing down a little bit? So, previously... Previously, I <clears throat> focused on teaching businesses and entrepreneurs uh, how to grow their audiences and influence using video marketing. Please provide, <clears throat> let me see, what else can I put here? Um, how about a bit of background? Um, I now have a lot more experience in business and also uh, software as a service and uh, would now like to uh, help people um, grow their businesses using video again. What? Uh, so let's say something like, please provide me with um, you know, 10 possible uh, targeted niches with a high level of, um, let's go, views on YouTube that I can focus on for my YouTube channel. Okay, so that's a mouthful. Okay, you'd agree that that's a mouthful, uh, but let's see what it gives me. All right, so this is an experiment. Let's see. Hit enter and let's see what it comes up with. Personal development and self-improvement. This Niche is all about helping people improve themselves and their lives through various methods and strategies. Topics could include productivity, goal setting, time management, mindfulness, and more. Okay, so that's interesting. So that's actually one of the ideas that has been floating in my head. I have been doing a lot of stuff on productivity and personal development in the past. I love the topic, but I'm not quite sure how to bring that back into my YouTube channel and how to make sense of it all. So let's see what else it says here. It's coming up with 10 different things here. So this is writing the 10th one. Let's look at the second one. Marketing and advertising. I'm just going to read the headings here. Marketing and advertising. Online business and entrepreneurship. Health and fitness. That's an interesting one. Uh, personal finance and investing. Food and cooking. Mm, travel and adventure. Do-it-yourself and home improvement. Beauty and fashion, technology and gadgets. So that's interesting. So these are just a few ideas for possible niches for YouTube channel. Ultimately, the best niche for you will depend on your interests expertise and target audience. It may also be helpful to do some research and see which topics are currently popular on YouTube in order to identify potential opportunities. All right, well, let's look at that. So what are the uh, top 10 most popular, let's see, topics on YouTube right now? So I'm not sure if it has that information available, but you know, why not have a look? 
and see what it says. Let's see. It's difficult to determine the exact 10 top, uh, most popular topics on YouTube at any given moment as the platform's content is constantly changing and evolving. However, some general categories that tend to be popular on YouTube include entertainment, gaming, education, do-it-yourself home improvement, food and cooking, beauty and fashion, sports, technology, gadgets, uh, travel and adventure, personal development and self-improvement. Okay, that's interesting. So I think what I can do here is use this as input because, or kind of as a filter that I can use for making sure I'm targeting a niche where uh, there's enough people looking at it. So those are the top 10 ones uh, that it looked at. So there's a whole bunch of them that I can't be bothered with and that I won't be pursuing. But there's a few here that's piqued some interest to me. So entertainment, not quite what I'm after for this. Uh, gaming, also not quite my my game, to put it that way. <laughs> education. So uh, <clears throat> so education, well, I guess my 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 channel will be educational in nature, but it's not going to be specific about specifically about education. So I'm going to skip that one for now. Do it yourself, home improvement, not really. Food and cooking, not really. Beauty and fashion, not really. Sports, no. Uh, technology and gadgets. So this is an interesting one. Technology and gadgets. So I love technology that relates to video production in particular, but using video production for growing your audience. So that's one that I think is very interesting for me to maybe include or at least think about seriously for covering inside my YouTube channel. Okay, so that's a good one. Travel and adventure, mm, not so much for me, but it's something that I might get into in the future. So let's see what else is there. Uh, personal development and self-improvement. So that's interesting. So technology and gadgets, that's a big one. Personal development and improvement. And let's see, that's interesting how, and maybe education. So if we, I'll take education if that means it's the kind of, the type of account that we're looking at. So, you know, I will be providing educational information. So what I'm going to do now is I'll open up a little text document. Let me make this, let me just set this up here. So I'll make it nice and big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in education. Let me just close these other ones delete that. So education and what are the other two? Uh, technology and gadgets. So it's very much a top-down approach. It's looking at what is already popular on YouTube. So I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. So there we go. So those three. Uh, education, technology and gadgets, personal development and self-improvement. So those are three areas that in general I'm very interested in and I could see myself creating content about that non-stop. Now I can give this a flavor. So I would like to give it a flavor of video marketing. So let's see if ChatGPT can help me with that. So let's formulate a, let's formulate something here. Let's go and make all this in one line. All right, so I'm gonna copy that and see what I'm gonna do next. And here I'm gonna say something like, uh, I, would like to create content around these three topics uh, with a focus on video marketing. Let's make it online video marketing. Please list a please please list ten uh, different categories of content that I can create around these topics. All right, let's see what it says. Again, uh, this is an experiment. I have no idea what it's gonna say, if it's gonna be useful, but it's already been really useful for me so I can, because I haven't thought about going at that higher level, education, technology and gadgets, and then personal development and self-improvement and grouping them together and then combining that with online video, like giving it that flavor. So that's kind of like, Hmm, cool, like I can always come up with ideas around that. So let's let's see what it's come, come up with here. So here are 10 different categories of content you can create around those topics that I mentioned. So, <clears throat> okay, here's this is interesting, online course creation. So that's something I actually have a lot of experience in it. from my previous uh, life uh, on the internet. I used to uh, create a lot of online courses and so I was really good at it. And that's actually something that I consider teaching as well. I never quite got around to it. So that might be something that I want to do. Uh, what about tech reviews? Now, that is a really good one. So whenever there's a new piece of technology that comes out, 
I could create a little review video on it. So a new camera, a new mic, uh, whatever new uh, app or software thing that I could use. There's a ton of different things that I could create content on around that. So that's a brilliant idea. Uh, online marketing strategy. So <laughs> that's kind of unlimited, right? There's, um, there's many, many different things. So maybe what I can do to make that even more specific is do it as online video marketing strategies. So, all right, so that's already really good. What else is there? Productivity tips, we talked about that already. Learning new skills, that's a good one. Personal development, we've talked about that. Tech tutorials, uh, yes, possibly. Tech tutorials of how to use certain software programs maybe for how to achieve a certain goal to help grow your audience. So there's a ton of stuff that I can do about that. Uh, E-learning, so I'm not sure if that is as related. Tech news, that's a good one. There's always new stuff coming up. I'm not so much of a news person and... I don't like news as much because it's not as evergreen. I like creating evergreen content. So I might skip that one unless there's something really huge coming like chat GPT. I think that was a significant news event that would also be evergreen. All right, cool. And then online business tips. Again, I would probably make that more specific to online video marketing tips or something like that. Okay, so it's given me 10 different ideas there within those categories uh, that I can create content in. So. Uh, so that is really cool. So I think what I'm going to do next is add that list to my little note document and then take it from there. Okay, so let's let's take the ones that I think is quite interesting. So I'm going to grab this one and pop it in here. So I'll create a new one. So tech reviews, that's a good one. And online marketing strategies. So I'm going to call that one. I'm going to change a little bit online video marketing strategies and let's see what else is there productivity tips always going to have ideas there productivity learning new skills i might skip that you could create videos teaching people how to learn new skills knowledge yeah i mean i guess so that goes under education personal development so there might be some things under that that relates to video marketing tech tutorials i like that one where it's sort of reviewing you know using software and things like that e-learning videos teaching people about various subjects yeah i'll probably skip that skip that and online business tips i think that's sort of covered in the other one so that gives me some ideas i must say that one is not as useful for me so uh, but it has still sort of given me some ideas uh, that i can that i can work with uh, so i might already you know use this now to think about specific video um video titles or content ideas that I that I can create um, within these different categories. Let's just go back to here and I'll show you how I would do this in real time. I would probably go, uh, you know, I'd probably divide these in the three different areas again. So education and let's just push these ones down. I must say these ones weren't as useful for me. So I might just, let's keep them, we'll keep them down there. And under education, I might add something like Let's call it uh, video marketing education. Uh, let's technology and gadgets related to video marketing. Personal and self development hmm. related to video marketing. Or I might do something like this. Let's um, let's see. Mm, yeah. So video marketing education. Gadgets. I'm just looking at this here. What I would do. What I'm looking for is okay. Let, let's let's do this. Technology and gadgets related to video marketing. So let's take this one as an example. So so let's just for argument's sake say these are the three different categories that I want to create content under. under. And I, I do recommend picking like three broad categories that relates to the thing that you want to talk about. So I want to talk about video marketing in general. And so, so there are three areas here for me. There's the, the educational side of it, there's the technology and gadget side of it, and there's the personal development, self-improvement side of it. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet, but those are three areas that I, that I am interested in and I would love to, uh, to create uh, content about. So, so let's, let's take that as an example. So let's take this, this one. I think this might be the easiest for this example, just to show how this is going to work. So please give me... Just share my screen. Uh, 10 content ideas. Well, let's make it video. Uh, let's call it YouTube video ideas uh, to create around the topic of 
technology and gadgets, gadgets related to video marketing. All right, let's see what it does. Error occurred. Okay, well, let's just copy that so we don't lose it. And I might uh, hit regenerate. No, let's hit refresh. It seems to be <clears throat> getting stuck every now and then. So I'm just going to pop that in there and try it again. So there we go. <clears throat> Five must-have gadgets for video marketers. Let's go back here. How to use technology to enhance your video marketing strategy. The top video editing software for marketing professionals. A beginner's guide to live streaming for video marketing. The best apps and tools for creating social media videos. How to use virtual reality in your video marketing efforts. The future of video marketing predictions and trends. Well, I like that one. The benefits of investing in professional video production equipment. How to use animation and motion graphics in video marketing. The top video marketing platforms and how to use them effectively. So boom, there's like 10 video ideas that I can research using ChatGPT probably to write scripts for or to write bullet points for that I can create video content around. How cool is that? <clears throat> okay, let's do this again now because I just wanna see how this might work for video marketing education. So let's see, let's try that again. Let's say, uh, please give me uh, 10 uh, YouTube, video ideas to, uh, let's see, to create uh, around the topic of video marketing education. So let's go online, video marketing education. All right, so I'm not sure what it's gonna give me here. Okay, so this is a bit more general in nature. The basics of video marketing, a beginner's guide, advanced video marketing techniques for experienced marketers, how to create a video marketing strategy that actually works. That's interesting because <laughs> my video last week was about that, wasn't it? So um, the topic, uh, the top video marketing tools and resources for success, that's pretty cool. Creating engaging and effective video content for your audience, maximizing the ROI of your video marketing efforts, the role of video in inbound marketing and lead generation, the benefits of video marketing for small business, video marketing case studies, success stories and lessons learned, and the future of video marketing trends and predictions. So they're all really good topics um, that it's given me. Now I might not use all of them, I might only use one of them, uh, but the point here is that it's given me a head start for already starting to create content uh, for my YouTube channel. So from this, uh, what I can do now is I can, I can now think about this a little bit, uh, and if I were to look at this, I could go, great, I could have my overall overarching topic is around video marketing because I know that's what I want to create the channel about, but I don't know specifically. And then I can drill down. I can say, okay, well, what about video marketing? I can So I can do things around uh, video marketing education, you know, around these sort of topics. Uh, I can uh, create videos about the technology and gadgets related to video marketing and personal development, etc related to video marketing. So it gives me a huge head start and ideas for how I can fine tune my niche specifically for uh, for my YouTube channel. So that's been really, really useful for me. For me. I think what's next, uh, what, what is needed next for me is to let that simmer a little bit and review this again tomorrow in the next few days and see whether that still sits well with me. But already I'm thinking, definitely the education one, the technology and gadgets one, that's probably the, the standout one for me. And the personal development one, that's kind of a weird one for me that I'm not quite sure how to integrate that with my video marketing stuff. But maybe there's an idea in there because I haven't actually seen personal development videos related to video marketing <laughs> as such, uh, you know, to to think about. But maybe that's a like a, a nice niche that no one else has really thought about that might be useful. I don't know. Maybe it's it's related to confidence, you know, how to be good on, on camera and things like that. That's that's I guess that's personal development, isn't it? So Definitely a lot to be said about around those sort of things. So there you go. There's another idea there that I that just came up because of this exercise that I've gone through. So hopefully that's useful to you too. Hopefully you can duplicate that in, in your process as well. Uh, I do recommend you use something like uh, Todoist to do this uh, for you. So for example, my next task here is to list the content idea. So I've already given that a bit of a head start. Uh, but I think next, uh, what I want to do is just clarify in my head that that's specifically that I want to create content about, maybe come up with some of my own ideas for uh, for topics and, and, and content ideas, but also then use GPT, chat GPT to flesh, flesh that out even more and then start fleshing out this plan even more and week by week, start producing the content, start honing in, start getting that feedback and, and very importantly, 
always measure every week how this is affecting the overall growth of my channel. So thank you for staying with me uh, so far for this video. I know these are sort of more behind the scenes, workshoppy kind of videos. And so thank you if you stayed for the whole video. Um, and I know that as time goes by, my videos will probably become a little bit more tight and a little bit more focused as well. But hey, at this stage of the game, I'm just experimenting. I'm just having fun. And if you're following along, great stuff. Leave a comment below this video. Maybe you've got some other ideas that I haven't tried yet. And I'd love to hear from you. So this is all an experiment. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. So if you have any feedback at all, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you inside my next video. Bye-bye.